Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. The God that cannot fail. I said, The God that cannot fail. And I pray that every challenge in your life, the Lord will take care of, even at this time, in Jesus' name. Why don't we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we do bless your name. I will thank you because of assured us that in our lives, you will not fail, you cannot fail. And therefore, Lord, I pray, before your people go, I pray you seal up their blessings in Jesus' name. Every good thing you have done for your people will be permanent in Jesus' name. And those who are still hoping and expecting, their expectation will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Make this the moment of divine connection with the God that cannot fail. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray that the amen will be fulfilled in your life. Thank you very much. We can sit down. Before we take our journey back home, I want to briefly talk about a journey. We call it the miracle journey. Our miracle journey to the promised land. I want you to recollect what God told the children of Israel. And the promise he gave them, he was going to take them out of where they were. He was taking them to the promised land. And the Bible, the word of God says, all those things happened unto them. For example, that the same thing will happen to you. You are joining to the promised land. You will get there. Every step of the way will be a step of miracle. Every milestone on your way will be a milestone of miracle. What you are going to discover in that land. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3 verse 8. The place the Lord is taking you to. Exodus 3 verse 8. And I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians and to bring them out of, the, of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. That's where you are going. A land flowing with milk and honey. Would you remember, brothers and sisters, and friends and invitees who are here today, that your future is a future of peace, of power, of prosperity, of abundant provision, Already we have heard, and somebody reminded us, reminded us just yesterday, that for you as you are here, and the Lord is taking you to this land, flowing with milk and honey, there will be no loss in your life. There will be no lack in your life. There will be no limitation in your life. This land of plenty, this land of prosperity and this land of abundance, you will reach there in Jesus' name. Exodus 13 verse 5. Exodus 13 verse 5. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites. And the, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, 
and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which I swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey. A land flowing with milk and honey. He tells us again that the description of the promised land, the land where you are going, maybe you're asking the question, can I have a part in that? Can I be a partaker for the people who are going to this land of promise? Numbers chapter 10, verse 29. Numbers chapter 10, verse 29. And Moses said unto Hobab, the son of Raguel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we are journeying unto the place of the which the Lord said, I will give it you. Come thou with us, and we will do thee good. Come thou with us, the Lord will do you good. Every good blessing the people of God receive. You will have your part in Jesus' name. For the Lord has spoken good concerning us, concerning Israel. Our miracle journey to the promised land. I want to show you from the word of God that every step from the beginning to the end is full of miracle. And in your life from now on, Every step will be full of miracle. Every day will be a day of miracle. Every event in your life will be an event of miracle in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were reaching at full time, were reaching for our learning that we, through the patience and the comfort of scriptures, might have hope, beauty ahead of you, glory ahead of you, provision ahead of you. First Corinthians chapter 10. First Corinthians chapter 10. We're reading from verse 11. Now, all these things happened unto them. For example, all these things happened unto them, for example, and they are reaching for our admonition. All that we're reading about today, about the miracle journey of the children of Israel, is an example for you, an illustration for you. And they are reaching for your learning upon, the, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews Chapter 11, verses 39 and 40. And these all have been obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. Some of them did not get to the promised land. But thank God, look at verse 40. God having provided some better things for who? Some better things for who? You are there for us. That they without us should not be made perfect. I'm talking about your own miracle journey to the promised land. Your own miracle journey to the promised land. Very briefly, quickly, we're going to talk on three things. Number one. The departure. Number one, the departure. Number two, the deliverance. The deliverance. Number three, the dominion. Number one, the miraculous departure to the promised land. You should know, the moment you stand up, the moment you take the step, and you say, Jesus and I were now connected together. Jesus and I 
we're moving together all through life i will not allow my hand to get away from the hand of jesus all through life every step i take i am walking i am moving i'm journeying on every step from that moment is miracle did i hear you respond to that your miraculous departure to the promised land and let's see how they began that journey how they began that journey that led them to the promised land exodus chapter 11 reading from verse 9 exodus 11 we're looking at verse 9 and the lord said unto moses pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of egypt and moses and aaron did all these wonders before pharaoh that's how they got away from egypt it was not an easy thing it took miracle the flies that came miracle the frogs that came miracle the water that was turned into into blood miracle until the final miracle took place exodus chapter 12 verse 12 for i will pass through the land of egypt this night i will smite all the firstborn in the land of egypt both man and beast and against all the gods of egypt i will execute judgment i am the lord and the blood shall be to you for a talking upon the houses where ye are and when i see the blood and when i see the blood i will pass over you that was the beginning of the journey all the firstborn in the land of egypt died but the firstborn of the people of israel they live it was the miracle that started them on that journey and i want you to know the moment you gave your life to christ is the moment of departure from egypt onto the promised land it starts with a miracle and that miracle power that started working in your life will never stop in jesus name departure miraculous departure chapter 16 verse 1 and they took their journey from Eli, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departing out of the land of Egypt. Now you have come out of Egypt, out of the world, out of their system, out of their uh, principles, out of their pollution, out of their sin. Your salvation is a miracle. Your new birth is a miracle. Your departure out of the world to come into the Lord is a miracle. And this miracle that has started in your life will keep on expanding will keep on enlarging will keep on increasing in jesus name numbers chapter 33 verse 3 numbers 33 verse 3 and he departed from ramses in the first month of the 15th day of the first month on the morrow after the passover the children of Israel went out. After the Passover, when he said, I will pass over you. And that miracle of the Passover came upon them. They went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. The Egyptians could not hold them in bondage anymore. The miraculous departure has taken place. Satan cannot hold you down anymore. Your miraculous departure has taken place. All those uh, taskmasters of Egypt, all the demons of the world, 
they cannot hold you down anymore your miraculous departure has taken place in jesus name in deuteronomy chapter 26 deuteronomy chapter 26 i'm reading here from verse 8 it says and the lord brought us forth out of egypt with a mighty hand that's a miraculous departure it was not an ordinary departure it was not just a natural human human generated uh, departure it was a miraculous departure he brought us out with a mighty hand and outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders with signs and with wonders that miracle at the beginning was a foretaste of the miracle that will continue until the end of the journey the miracle you have got now is just a foretaste of what is going to happen every day of your life there will be miracles in jesus name he brought us out with signs and wonders that's the departure it was all of a miracle number two the miracle deliverance on the way to the promised land in egypt to get them out miracle and then every milestone of the way as they were going on the way to the promised land don't turn back if you turn back you are going to turn back to misery you will not turn back i said you will not turn back the miracle is in front of you the miracle is in front of you every day keep on moving every week keep on moving every month keep on moving and when you hear that another another edition of this revival is coming come again because miracle upon miracle rolling over miracle in your life in jesus name our miraculous deliverance on the way to the promised land we're looking at numbers chapter 33 ch chapter 10 rather numbers chapter 10 verse 33 numbers chapter 10 verse 33 and they departed from the mount of the lost three day, in three days journey and they had of the covenant the covenant of the lord was before them in the three days journey to search out a resting place for them the receipt for the journey is that they were going to the promised land and the promised land now is called a place of rest and the ark of the covenant of the lord was before them every day and every night the word of God with you every day and every night. And it says, this ark of the covenant of the Lord was to search out a resting place for them. There is rest waiting for you. Restoration waiting for you. Resurrection waiting for you. Riches waiting for you. Abundance waiting for you. And the Lord will not stop until every miracle that is attached with your name is yours in jesus name nobody will take your miracle nobody will take your place every provision of the lord which the lord has written your name on will be yours in jesus name and all the programs you are hearing about that is the third week of the month saturday sunday we're here saturday sunday we're here every time you come the miracle that is a portion that is your portion that the lord has packaged together and says this is that for my child there this is for my daughter there as you come you are going to receive in jesus name every desire of your heart every passion that you have every aspiration that you have every goal every dream that you have every day of your life the lord is going to make sure you get to that resting place you'll be there in jesus name 
Exodus chapter 14, they came out. And when they came out, remember now we're talking about deliverances, deliverances on the way to the promised land. We're looking at Exodus chapter 14. Because after they came out, they started the journey. And it was a time of joy, jubilation, celebration. But then Pharaoh said, how is it? We allowed those people to go. He forgot all the miracles that are taking place. He forgot that the children of Israel came out, not ordinarily, but by a mighty hand. And then he said, chariots and riders, get ready. We're going to pursue them. We will bring them back. They will not bring you back. You're not coming back to the sickness. You're not coming back to your poverty. You're not coming back to that depression. You're not coming back to that mental insanity. You're not coming back to all those problems. Those things are gone. They're gone forever in Jesus' name. Now, young people, young believers, young Christians, they will ask the question. Like all those Israelites, they were asking the question. And they said, how is it, oh God, you allowed Pharaoh to still get up out of Egypt and to pursue us? How is it you allowed all his chariots and all his army? He gathered all the army together. He said, all those people that left were going to pursue them. How is it, oh Lord, you allowed all the Egyptians and all the chariots to follow us? And God is saying, if I didn't allow them to follow, how will I destroy all the chariots and all the army of Egypt? The Lord said, I allowed them to get up because I wanted to drown every one of them, all your enemies. I wanted to drown them in the Red Sea. I said, all your enemies, all the people that all those things that are still running after you are saying, well, we'll catch up with them. Well, we'll catch up with them. It's the water, the river of the Red Sea that will drown every one of those problems in Jesus' name. And so they began to cry. You would not have cried if you had known that this is preparation for the destruction of the army of the Egyptians. Look at it now, chapter 14, verse 13. It says in verse 13, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Are you there? Fear ye not. I said, Are you there? Fear ye not. This journey that began with a miracle will continue with miracles. This Christian life that began in miracles will continue with miracles in Jesus' name. Fear ye not, the arising of any problem is uh, the introduction, the announcement of a miracle on the way. Anytime any new problem arises, it's an announcement. There is a miracle on your way. A miracle on your way. It will come in Jesus' name. Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you this day. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, tell me, ye shall see them no more. Ye shall see them again no more. How long? Forever. Because, you know, they already had the miracle, but Pharaoh was still alive, and the chariots were still alive, and the uh, riders were still alive, and all those enemies were still alive. And God said, I want to give you something permanent, that all those things will never come again. And the Lord said, are oh, you crying to me? Stretch out your rod. And then the sea was divided, and they passed over. And they passed over. And there are people here today that are passing over. And they passed over. Another step towards the promised land. Another mile towards the promised land. Another step towards the promised land. We're not getting farther and farther away from the promised land. Every step we take, every river that opens before us, another step towards the promised land. You are nearer the promised land today than yesterday. In Jesus' name. And they passed over, and they passed over. And then Pharaoh said, we will pass over to you. Hey, Pharaoh, be careful. That river was opened up only for the 
beloved of the Lord, for the elect of the Lord. They are open door for the favorites of the Lord. Don't try it. And Pharaoh said, what Moses can do, Pharaoh can do. Uh -uh. It does not work that way. And then he says, what an Israelite can do, an Egyptian can do. Uh -uh. It does not work that way. But they were, uh, they, they kind of lost, uh, you know, their reasoning faculty. And then they went in. Well, that was the end of them. That was the end of them. And while we have the end of those Egyptians, the people of God, they kept on marching on. They kept on marching on. Anybody with us there? We keep on marching on. I said, we keep on marching on. You'll march on in Jesus' name. They came to the other side now of the sea. Look at chapter 16, verse 4. Chapter 16, I'm reading from verse 4. Here it says, Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. I will rain down bread from heaven for you. That's his miracle on the way. You will not be hungry. You will not be thirsty. All the needs of your life in this miracle journey, the Lord will give unto you in Jesus' name. You, you, you remember the language of God there, what God said? He said, I will rain bread from where? I can't hear you. From heaven. Look at Psalm 78. Psalm 78. Psalm 78, verse 24 and, 20, and verse 25. Psalm 78, verse 24. And add range down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of what? Of the corn of what? Heaven. Look at verse 25. Man did eat angels' food. Man did eat angels' food. I'm telling you that on this way to the land of promise, you will not lack. The Lord will be your shepherd. You will not lack. When you need water, he'll supply the water. When you need manna, he'll supply the manna. And when you need protection, he will grant you the protection. When you need healing, he will give you healing. When you need deliverance, he'll give you deliverance. And when you need to get married, he'll give you, he'll give you, um, you know, a beautiful wife, beautiful husband in Jesus' name. I remember now that, you know, I, I promised you, you know, some of you, you don't, uh, when you come like this and I give you a promise, you don't write the promise now. And then after one week, you forget, although I don't forget, but, you know, I, I told you that we were going to have a single seminar. And I told you that all those who are not married, I told you to, what did I tell you to do that time? To stand up. And then you stood up and then I said, uh, this is coming and but you know since that time nothing you say pastor why have you not uh, called all those single people you have not because you ask not you have not because you ask not but if you ask and you say pastor i am here i want to get married i am here i'm looking for that miracle wife and miracle husband if you ask Whosoever asketh, he will receive. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. Are you asking? I can't see the single people. Where are they? Are they asking? Single people. Where are you? You're hiding your head behind the person there. I can't see you. Can you stand up? Single people. Want to get married? Or have you forgotten about marriage? Can we do something? Bring all the single people together. And then when I come here, now don't tell other people. I'm only telling you. This one is private. I said this one is private. 
by prayer by the power of the lord i say have your own and i say have your own it will come in jesus name all right all right now i'm serious now i'm always serious but i'm more serious now if you really want the singles seminar will come here maybe a friday night and you know that night and you know you promised me you'll not sleep and i'm going to search everything from genesis revelation looking for your wife i'm going to search everything looking genesis revelation looking for your husband if you promise me that you are asking and you want that to happen where are you can you wave the hand at me it will happen it will happen in jesus name the only thing, the only challenge is you must accept that we can conduct 100 marriages in one day. You know, that will say, this one, who gave this one to this one? Who gave this one to this one? And then we pass you on like that, and it will be miracle marriage in Jesus' name. You can sit down now, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming in Jesus' name. You know, in the past, uh, whenever deeper line people really agree and they are happy, there's a way they show they are happy because something is coming their way. Amen. Amen. Now, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. There will be no lack in your life in Jesus' name. And then those who have married, and then there is no child. And thank God we have some testimonies now, and then we have, uh, you know, this person. Uh, you know, I was, I've been waiting for 10 years. Now this is my boy. I've, I've got a male child. This one wants, who says I've been waiting for 12 years, and then I have triplets. This one says I've been waiting for these many years. Now I have this number. And I told you to stand up. Those who you have married and there's no child yet, I'm not going to let, let this problem remain for a long time. Now your time also has come. We're going to bring all those couples together. If you have anywhere, let them come. And then we'll make the announcement to you and tell you when it will be. And it's going to be very soon in Jesus' name. We break the yoke of barrenness in this church in Jesus' name. Now, it says, men did eat angels' food on the way, on the way, as they were going. Every need of their lives, all the needs were met in Jesus' name. And then, look at this in Exodus chapter 17, as we're going on the way, on the way to the, on the way to the promised land. The way to the promised land, Exodus chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 5. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses, go on before the people and take with thee the uh, and take with thee of the elders of israel and thy rod wherewith thou smotest the river take in thine hand and go and behold i will stand before thee at there upon the rock in hurry and thou shalt smite the rock and there shall come water out of it water out of the rock that the people may drink you see everything they needed on the way to the promised land god gave them miraculously and i'm saying this is our own time the journey that began with miracles will continue with miracles in jesus name we've seen number one the departure, a miraculous departure. We have seen number two, a miraculous deliverance. And now they entered into the land of promise. Like you are going to enter this land of promise. Over here in this world, the land made with milk and honey, you will enter in Jesus' name. Because you begin with miracles. You continue with miracles and you consummate and conclude your journey with miracle in Jesus' name. And at last, heaven, you will get there. I said, heaven, you will get there. Let's see now when they eventually got there. In fact, before they got there, listen to Joshua chapter 2. Our miraculous dominion in the land, in the promised land. Joshua chapter 2, 
reading from verse 9. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that your terror is falling upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land fade because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of the land of Egypt and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites which were on the other side Jordan, Sihon and Og whom ye utterly destroyed and as soon as we had heard these things our hearts did melt neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you for the lord your god he is god in heaven above and in earth beneath here rahab confessed that we know you're coming to take the land we know you're going to enter the land of promise and you're going to have dominion you will enter i said you will enter they entered then in judges chapter 5 verse 13 judges chapter 5 verse 13 then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people them that remained, he made them have dominion. There were people that were part of the mixed multitude in the wilderness. They didn't focus on the promised land. They perished in the promised land. But the people that remained, the people that stood, the people that said that Canaan land, that promised land, I am going to be there, he gave all of them dominion. And you are the people that remained. Some people that started like Opa, they have gone back. Some people that started this journey like demons, they have gone back to the world. They have gone back to the false religion. And some people that started in days away like Judas Iscariot, they have gone. But you have remained. And all of us that remain, dominion is yours in Jesus' name. That's why the Lord, and it's a miraculous dominion. It's not something we can do by ourselves. Starting with a miracle, continuing with miracle, consummating your journey with miracle. First John, first John chapter 4. First John chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 4 here. First John chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are God's little children and have overcome them. You will overcome. I said you will overcome. Tonight, today I come to announce to you that the spirit of the conqueror is coming in your life, in your heart right now. Every step of the way, the power to overcome, the Lord has given you already in Jesus' name. As we're going, just remember, all your needs are supplied. As we're going, just remember, all your expectations are fulfilled. As I go in, remember, Emmanuel is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will stay with you until the very end in Jesus' name. Every day be full of expectation. Expectation. And the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off in Jesus' name. The Lord has laid his hands upon you. And he has turned you away from the world and has turned you to the promised land. And this promised land, you'll get there in Jesus' name. Every day you remember, the Lord is my shepherd. Every day you remember, I will not lack, I shall not want. Every day you remember, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Every day you remember, he leadeth me continually. In this miracle journey, he leadeth me by the, by the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Everything you have lost day by day, day after day, he'll be restoring everything in Jesus' name. Greater miracles and greater testimony. Greater provision and greater abundance inheritance in your life in Jesus' name. 
then it says that he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. His name is Emmanuel. Then he says, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Comfort will never leave your life in Jesus' name. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. The anointing that breaks every yoke will be upon your head all the days of your life in Jesus' name. And then at the very end of your Christian journey where you are to pass on, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell. You'll get there and I will dwell. You'll get there and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Let's rise up. Let's rise up in your miracle. Rise up in your miracle. Rise up in your miracle. Miracles will never stop in your life. We started with miracles. We're going to go on with miracles. And we're going to get to the promised land. Enjoying the miracles of the Lord in all our lives forever and ever in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. I'm a candidate for miracle every day. I'm a child of miracle every day. My paths are all filled with miracle. My journey is all filled with miracle. And my future is filled with miracle. In the past miracle, in the present miracle, in, in the future miracle. Every kind of miracle you need, this is a journey of miracles. It's a miracle journey. It's a miracle journey. It's a miracle journey. You'll never lack. You'll never lose what you have got. There'll be no limitation of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Whatever you have got, you'll get more. Whatever you have received, you'll receive more. And whatever, uh, whatever goodness of God is in your life, more will come. More will come every day in Jesus' name. Our miracle journey to the promised land. Candidates of miracle, can you raise up your hand? children of a miracle walking god can you raise up your hand and the children of the god that cannot fail the god that cannot fail the god that cannot fail it will never fail in your life in jesus name father in the name of jesus we bless your name for the journey you have put our feet on. Oh Lord, I pray that everything you purpose, everything you plan, everything you promise on this journey to the promised land, fulfill in Jesus' name. For every brother, for every sister, for every boy, for every girl in the children's church, in the youth section, in the campus section, and then in the adult church, oh Lord, I'm asking everyone's life will be filled with miracles in Jesus' name. No more crying, no more tears, no more sorrow, no more sadness. Oh Lord, I pray you break the power of Egypt away from every life in Jesus' name. And then Lord, I pray that every child of God, you're leading us and guiding us, will never lose your guidance. We'll never lose your leading. I will pray, Lord, the brightness of the light of the gospel of the kingdom will be in the, in the life of everyone all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. No mistake will ruin our lives. No indecision will ruin our lives. And no Canaanite, and no Jebusite, and no Amorite, and no Midianite, and no Balaam, and no Balak will be able to stop this miracle journey in Jesus' name. No enemy will overpower any child of God here all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you will condemn in Jesus' name. In your life, from now on, there will be no loss in your life. No loss of your wife. No loss of your husband. No loss of your children. No loss of your grace prematurely. No loss of your blessing. No loss of your miracle. In your life, there will be no lack in Jesus' name. This, our miracle working God, the God that cannot fail, it will supply all the needs of your life in Jesus' name. 
there will be no limitation in your life. You will not say that's a mountain I cannot climb. You will not say that's a river I cannot cross. You will not say that's a duty I cannot perform. You will not say that's a work I cannot do. You will not say that's a marriage I cannot continue in. You will not say this is too hard for me. And life is unbearable. All that unbearable part of life, the Lord will solve all your problems in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all the provision your children need. All the provision they need for body, soul, and spirit. Grant unto everyone in Jesus' name. With every new day, a new miracle. Every new month, a new miracle. And all through your life, all through your life, you'll be moving up a step at a time, a step at a time, towards the promised land in Jesus' name. All the works of the devil will be destroyed before you. And all the plans of the enemy will be scattered before you in Jesus' name. Miracle for every day. As we're going back home today, miracle power of God will follow you. When you get back home, whatever you love before you came, divine supply, you'll discover to me in Jesus' name. This is the beginning of another week, and this new week, and this month before this month runs to an end. All those desires who have been uh, compassionate asking for, God will supply everything in Jesus' name. And all those uh, single people that rose up and you're saying, Oh Lord, don't forget me. I need my wife. I need my husband. I pray the Lord will give you a bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh in Jesus' name. And all those who are married and the people of the world are saying, Where is your God? Where is your God? Miracle children. Miracle children. Oh Lord, give unto your people in Jesus' name. Victory and triumph over temptation, over sin, holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Make here everyone possess this gracious life of holiness in Jesus' name. While you're still praying, the Lord says he will answer. And before you end the prayer, you'll find a miracle in your life in Jesus' name. The joy of the Lord will go with you. The power of the Lord will go with you. The Lord will be a wall of fire around you. And no enemy will be able to destroy your life in Jesus' name. You will be head, you will not be tail. You'll be above, you'll, be, you'll not be beneath. You will lend, you will not borrow. And the mark of a child of God, that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That mark the Lord will fulfill in your life in Jesus' name. Miracle at your beginning. Miracle in your continuation. Miracle in your consummation. Until we get to the promised land to celebrate the life of miracle forever and ever. I pray it is yours already and you keep on rejoicing all the days of your life in Jesus name. We thank you Lord because we know you have answered. In Jesus name we pray.